Hey, good morning everyone. Hope you have an amazing day. Welcome you all in today's maths writing class. So students, get ready with your VGM book, pencil and crayon box. A book, Navneet Golden Mathematics, KG1. Students, kindly open to page number 14 and let us head with today's number and that is number 1. 1. Say, how many elephants are there? We can see only one elephant. So this is 1. Let us say 1. Let us write 1. Let us now play under the shining sun. Now we can see here a picture. Some boys are playing cricket. And here is a pinky with a 1 doll. 1 doll for pinky. 1 ball for Sonu. 1 bat for Bunty. 1 hat for Monu. Now below we can see is count and say aloud. One lion, one bull, one horse, one zebra. Let us continue with the page number 15 now. And here we can see is dressing one. So far we have learned how to write number one. That is write from top straight down. This is how we form number one. So students, line wise, you have to write number one. You have to dress number one and read out the number one loudly. Below you have to copy same as homework. Let us head to the next activity. We can see is tick the sets of 1. As we are learning to write number 1, we are going to tick the sets of 1. 1 peacock. You can see a tick over here. Here we can see is the 2 parrots. So leave the box as it is. 1 eagle. So put a tick over here. 1 duck. Put a tick over here. Now let us head to the next activity. Over here we can see is color with the different crayons. Here you can have fun with the crayons. With your favorite color, you can color this number 1. Let us head to page number 16 now and proceed with the next number and that is number 2. Say, how many girls are there? Let us count them. 1, 2. This is number 2. Let us say 2. Let us write 2. Let us now visit the zoo. Two tigers in the cage, two elephants here, two camels for ride, two giraffes here. We can see here two elephants, two camels, two tigers in the cage and two giraffes. Below you can see is count and say aloud two cats, two dogs, two monkeys, two deer. Proceed to page number 17 and here we are going to learn how to write number 2. So in the first row we can see is the tracing 2 available for us. We are going to trace them properly. This is the backward curve. And then you have to sleeping line. This is how we write number 2. While tracing the number be very careful and trace this number properly. While tracing the number read out the number orally. So students in the below you have to same copy as your homework. Let us head with the next activity that is take the sets of 2. Here we can see 2 kittens. 1, 2. Put a tick over there. 1, 2. 2 chicks. So put a tick over there. 1 lion. So as per the instruction we have to take the sets of 2. 1 lion. Leave the box as it is. And 2 puppies are here. So put the tick below. Now for the third activity we can see color with the different crayons. As I told you before, with the help of a crayon box, any of your favorite colors you can use and color this number 2. Students, let us head to page number 18 now and our next number is number 3. Say, how many cows are here? We can see 1, 2, 3. There are 3 cows. Let us say 3. Let us write 3. Now dear friends, let us look at the tree. Three monkeys on the tree. One, two, three. Three mangoes on the ground. We can see three mangoes over here. One, two, three. Three birds on the branch. One, two, three. Three squirrels around. There, there are three squirrels. We can see one, two, three. Count and say aloud. Three crows. Three parrots. Three cocks. Let us head to page number 19. And over here in the very first row we can see dressing three. So we have to trace it very properly. 
that is half backward curve and then again half backward curve this is how we form number three once again over here three so complete this three in your book as your homework let us head with the next activity we can see is take the sets of three one two three three squirrels in first example put a tick one two two rabbits so keep the box as it is and one two three so put a tick over here below students you have to color with the different colors the below given number should be colored with your favorite crayons let us head to our next number and that is number four how many deer are there count them one two three four this is how we write number four let us say four let us write four now let us look through the open door four women in the street over here we can see four boys on the ground we can see some of the boys playing on the ground four flowers in the garden with the fence around over here we can see yellow flowers one two three four count and say aloud four apples four pears four oranges let's learn how to write number four that is slanting line then slipping line and then small standing line so you have to trace number four properly and while tracing the number read out the number orally slanting line sleeping line and small standing line students below you have to complete same as your homework now let us head with the next activity that is take the sets of four two watermelons so keep the box as it is leave it as it is next example we can see is one two three four four strawberries put the tick over here there and next activity we can see is one two three four four custard apples are there put the tick over there this is how we have done with the sets of four below we can see is color with the different crayons below number fours are given you have to color them with your favorite crayons students now we'll head to page number 22 our coming number is number five say how many cats are there count this cats now one two three four five this is number five let us say five let us write five let us get ready and go for a drive five turtles on the sand one two three four five five fishermen at the lake one two three four five five trees on the shore we can see the trees over here one two three four five five boats in the lake one two three four five now let us head further now count and say aloud five pencil five books five crayons let us proceed ahead with number five here you know how to write number five that is sleeping line standing line and then a backward curve this is how we write number five while tracing the number remember you have to read out the number orally and loudly five this is how we write number five while tracing the number be careful you have to trace properly and neatly students below you have to complete the five as your homework let us proceed to our next activity that is tick the sets of five here we can see few of the colored tubes let us count them how many are there one two three four five as per instruction this is a set of number five so we are going to put tick over there the next example count the given bags one two three four as per instruction this is not the set of five so leave the box as it is let us head further some of the books we can see let us count them one two three four five this is a set of five and we are going to put a tick over there below another activity is there that is color with the different crayons students below the five number is given you have to color them with your favorite crayons parents please guide your child while doing the homework children while writing read out the numbers orally and have fun with colors bye do take good care of yourself